With high temperatures outside, local first responders say they're having to respond to a high number of heat-related emergencies. Whether it's a fire or a person with heat exhaustion, first responders are busy. Terry Craig caught up with fire and EMS officials about how they're handling the increase in responses. Terry. Heat-related emergencies are most common in the summer, but those who I spoke to say that this heat wave is causing more emergencies than in years past. High heat indexes, dry conditions, and wind gusts could be the recipe for disaster for a fire. Terre Haute Fire Chief Bill Barry says these conditions are all too common in the summer. With the low humidity and uh, dry conditions, um, sometimes when the wind's blowing, obviously fires can get out of control. It's a uh, you know, good combination of you know, getting fires started and, and going. The intense heat of a fire combined with high air temperatures puts immense pressure on firefighters. Barry says that having to respond to multiple fires during the heat could be a strain on the firefighters. When it's this hot out, we're inside fires, stuff like that, you know, they're, you know, they're getting worked and worked and worked to death. I mean, it's their job, but that much heat, you know, can cause stress on the body, can cause stress on the organs and stuff like that. And that's, that's a real fact with our firefighters. Jared Rankin with the Otter Creek Fire Department says that they're responding to a high number of heat-related emergencies, such as heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Heat-related emergencies are kind of very underestimated. They're kind of not considered as something that uh, any uh, person could deal with. But in the reality is that heat-related emergencies are the number one weather-related cause of death. Whether finding a place with air conditioning or a place in the shade, Rankin says that staying hydrated is the best way to avoid heat-related illness. When you're exerting yourself or when you're sweating profusely in these high temperatures, you're actually supposed to drink eight ounces of water every 20 minutes. So it's a pretty significant increase in the amount of water intake that we, uh, we bring in. Rankin advises to check on your neighbors or those with pre-existing conditions to make sure that they're okay in the heat.